In this video, I'm going to create League of Legends in one month and challenge my diamond friend to a match. <laughs> oh. oh, no! I fired up Unity and started to create the map. But then I found this artist that literally recreated the entire map. And thank you. The map looks great in Blender. Let's import it into Unity and perfect. Exactly what I was expecting. And five hours later, the map was back to normal. Now it's time to add characters and get them moving, which I did using a nav mesh. Now a nav mesh is pretty simple. It's just a navigation mesh, which is intended to stop the characters from running through walls. But only if I actually remember to add obstacles to the map. I added towers by stealing, I, I mean, borrowing the models. Hey, these towers look really good. I did a great job making these. League of Legends has a nice character UI, so I'm going to make my own. I'll add some filler ability icons that'll turn into real ability soon. To create the minions, I'm going to use Bob, who is basically just a big and fat blob. I added Bob to the game and used scriptable object to give him customizable stats. Now I set up some target code and we can attack Bob. Uh, guys, I don't think he liked that. League of Legends spawns three sets of minions from each player's nexus to walk down the three lanes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how they should move. All right, now we got something we can work with. To direct the minions down the three lanes, I set up a series of waypoints that each group of minions must walk near. Now we add some color to indicate different teams, make some ranged minions by smashing Bob with a giant cube, and fight! All right, looks like we got red blobs and blue blobs fighting in the center of the map. It looks like the red blobs are out to an early lead on the tower, but the blue blobs are on an inhibitor turret. Uh-oh, the red blobs are on two inhibitor turrets. Oh my goodness, the blue blobs are on the nexus. Are they gonna win? But the red blobs are on two and oh my goodness, red blobs are the winner! Right now, the blobs just kind of stare menacingly at the enemy to attack. So I added some ranged projectiles. League has a vast array of item choices and combinations. <laughs> but I went for the far more balanced approach, of course, and just give you a new scary looking sword each time you reach a thousand gold. In order to make fire, we need to create abilities. With a single base ability, I could extend the functionality to create all other abilities. I'll even give you a sneak peek of heal and flat. <laughs> and obviously my versions are much better than the originals. Before I added fancy visual effects, the fireballs were just a bunch of spheres. I used Unity's brand new VFX graph to make the abilities come to life. To make the fireball and dragon fire, I rapidly rotated a series of grayscale sprites while emitting a ridiculous amount of spark colored particles out the back. I also made some special VFX for the recall. Uh, <laughs> pretend you didn't see that. Perfect on the first try. I created particles for the ground glow and finished the abilities off by coding the recall warp. And finally for the VFX, I created blue and red attack projectiles by scaling down the fireball. But we're not done yet because League has an entire jungle filled with unique monsters. Since I only had a week left, I just threw some yellow paint on Bob and placed him in the jungle. I added a dragon from some assets that I had and gave it combat stats and animations. Maybe I made dragon a little too powerful. And now we sculpt the greatest, most epic character to ever grace the screens of Blender. 
Oh dear god, what is this? I attempted to create Baron Nashur by modeling the body, sculpting its head, adding the bones, and animating the attack. And yeah, I think we can all see how that went. I tried to fight Baron and yeah, also too powerful. With Baron complete, I added the rest of the characters. The characters each have different stats, but for time reasons, they all have the same abilities right now. I balance the minion, monster, and champion stats in order to prevent this. Or this. Excuses. I died. League has a very satisfying gold coin effect when you last hit a minion, which I managed to mimic for my version. To fine tune the graphics, I added some post processing bloom to give the minions and scenery some shine. And there we have it. We finished making League of Legends, right? Wrong. Now we need to add multiplayer so I can play with my friends. There's just one problem with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have no friends. I created a C-sharp TCP server and client, but since I've already done this before with my own game, it should be no problem, right? Oh my goodness, I'm not kidding. This is working on the first try. Look at this. The abilities work and everything. Yeah, I was fully expecting this to be some sort of joke about how it took me days to fix multiplayer. What the? Yeah, d don't worry about that. that. That was just a minor sync issue. Now I just make the server, throw it in a Docker container, also a big fat blob, write some elite level hacker code, Now I just rent a Linux server to throw the Docker container on, and boom, we have multiplayer. The menu is the last thing that needs to be done to get players in the game. But this one feels really boring, so of course I added some fat blobs, made a team selection, and now we're finally done. Let's get Carl's reaction. Oh my gosh. Oh my 30 gosh. seconds until blobs this spawn. This is your voice! <laughs> Oh, these graphics are like better in League of Legends. Th these towers, the detail on these towers is better in League of Legends. I'll attack you like three times. <laughs> Dude, oh these minions! Oh no, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Get owned! Get owned! What? Are you, are you insane? Oh no! <laughs> Did I <kill> you? <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, you got me. What yeah, the baby! <laughs> That's the old baby! <laughs> where, where did you go? Where means were attacking, I saw the attack still in. <laughs> yeah, I followed the missiles. <laughs> I was like, alright, he's over here. You're an old. Oh. Yes, I got you. What? How did you get level two? Yes, I got you. The soul oh, kill. I pressed, I pressed. Dude, I pressed heal based on my normal. Oh, control. your normal stuff. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> I can't, I can't, I literally can't kill this. Oh, okay. Yeah! Oh, no. oh. Call me, call me Faker, bro. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to comment down below what game you want to see me remake next. See you in the next video.